In this video, I will talk about feet, front end engineering and design. I will talk about different stages of feet. I will also briefly explain what actually involves in each stage of feed. If you are working on a feed project or you want to know about feed, this video would be a good starting point for you. Let's start. Feed, front end engineering and design is a crucial phase in the project life cycle for engineering and construction projects. It's the preliminary phase where the project scope feasibility and basic engineering requirements are defined before moving into detailed design and construction. The primary goal of FEED is to develop a clear and comprehensive understanding of the project's scope, technical requirements, estimated costs, and potential risks. Here is how FEED is typically performed. Project Definition In this phase, project goals objectives and scope are defined. The project team works closely with the stakeholders to understand the project's purpose and desired outcomes. Conceptual design. During this phase, preliminary engineering concepts are developed. These include high-level design sketches, process flow diagrams, and basic equipment specifications. Various design alternatives may be explored to find the most efficient and cost-effective solution. Feasibility studies Feasibility studies are conducted to evaluate technical, economic, and operational viability. These studies help assess whether the proposed project is worth pursuing and if it is aligned with the company's goals. Preliminary engineering Design and engineering work begins in this phase. The focus is on developing basic engineering designs, process simulations, equipment specifications, and preliminary cost estimates. Process flow diagrams, PFDs, and piping and instrumentation diagrams, PNIDs. PFDs and PNIDs are created to illustrate the process flow, equipment arrangement, and control systems. These diagrams provide a visual representation of the project's layout and operations. Equipment specifications. Basic specifications for key equipment and systems are developed. This includes size, capacity, materials, and performance requirements. Hazard and safety reviews. Hazard and operability hazard studies are conducted to identify potential safety hazards and operational issues. Mitigation measures are proposed to ensure safety during project execution and operation. Environmental impact assessment. Feed often includes an assessment of the project's potential environmental impact. This helps ensure compliance with the environmental regulations and standards. Cost estimation. Preliminary cost estimates are developed based on the engineering work completed so far. This provides a clear understanding of the project's financial implications. Risk Assessment The feed phase involves identifying and assessing project risks ranging from technical challenges to market factors. This helps in devising risk mitigation strategies, deliverables and documentation. The feed process generates a set of documents that outline project specifications, design concepts, preliminary drawings, cost estimates, and other critical information. Client approval. Once the feed package is complete, it's submitted to the client for review and approval. Feedback and suggestions are incorporated into the package as needed. Performing feed requires a multidisciplinary team including engineers, designers, project managers, and subject matter experts. Effective communication, collaboration, and attention to detail are essential throughout the process to ensure that the project's foundation is strong for the subsequent detailed design and construction phases. Click here to subscribe to watch more videos. Until my next video, take care and bye.